A hot topic in Jacksonville is the status of the removal of Confederate monuments in downtown. Mayor Donna Deegan has included a half million dollars in her budget for Confederate monument removal, but with a new city council in office, we're on your side breaking down what needs to happen before that funding is used. Atia Collins joins us live from near a monument in Springfield Park with more details about this controversial topic. Good morning, Atia. Good morning, Rich. The woman of the Southland Monument has been sitting here in Springfield Park for over 100 years. Now, this statue is one that activists have demanded be removed, and it's one that former Mayor Lenny Curry promised would be taken down almost two years ago. He made this promise. He also released a list of 10 11 monuments and Civil War related mo markers that are around the city, and there are still 10 left standing and you should be seeing those names across your screen right now. Now these are all monuments and markers that are targeted for removal that list put out by former mayor Lenny Curry. He set aside half a million dollars in the city's budget to do so and that money is still designated in Mayor Donna Deegan's proposed budget. However, camp council has still not approved any proposal to use funds for monument removal across the city. We can take that monument, any monument, and put it into another place and contextualize it, but it shouldn't be sitting in the middle of a neighborhood where people have to be reminded all the time that their humanity was not respected. And coming up at 11, I talked to both sides of the argument, both those who are for taking down the monuments and those who want to see this history preserved. And we walk through what needs to happen in order for these monuments to come down and if it's a possibility with this new city council. Make sure you stick around 11 o'clock, First Coast News. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, on your side.